Hey YouTubers, fellow Jeepers everywhere. Guess what? It's summertime. And summertime means that uh, that hard top that you have, uh, you want to be able to take it off. Um, hard tops is usually a two-person job and uh, they're still big and bulky. Uh, it still makes it you know, difficult. Uh, then you also have to worry about where you're gonna put it. Um, so I decided to uh, watch some other videos, um, try some stuff out. Um, and I'm going to show you now what I've came up with. Right now you can see my hard top is completely off my Jeep and it's now fully suspended by ratchet straps. All right? The ratchet straps is not what I want securing my Jeep uh, or my hard top. Um, that's not what I want. Uh, this is only temporarily. Um, what I'm going to do is uh, make a shopping list. I went to Harbor Freight. I bought a hand winch system. Um, that way I can go ahead and just wind and the top will automatically, after it's secured, uh, come off the Jeep. I also went to uh, Lowe's and bought a uh, wall pulley or a corner pulley. I am going to put another pulley uh, over top of the uh, hard top. And I'll give you a view of that one. Um... The other pulley just mounts up against the wall. Uh, the clevis uh, will actually come down and be over top of the hard top. Uh, and then what I'll do is that's the vacant that's the vacant area. So the uh, ceiling pulley will be mounted to the wall or to the ceiling. Um, the clevis will come down. I'll run straps through the open areas of the Jeep, uh, which is right behind where the passenger door frame is, and then run it right out the back. And uh, that way I have no hooks. I don't have any of that. The hooks will actually go to the ceiling, all meet there. The clevis will uh, then hook on, and then I'll just crank the top up. Uh, the great thing is, is uh, I can get the top uh, almost all the way to the ceiling within about four inches. Um, that gives me tons of storage area. I don't have to worry about hitting it, bumping it, nothing. Um, I've got $50 in this um, so far. That's with the ratchet straps, which I just did that because it's a beautiful day outside and I wanted to take the top off. Uh, but the, hard, the pulley system, or the pulleys, as well as the uh, uh, lag bolts, uh, which you're going to need to go in, make sure you go into studs. Get a stud finder, make sure you go into studs. Um, as well as the uh, hand winch, total price is 41 bucks. Um, can't beat that. A um, whole lot easier than paying 100 to uh, $150 for one and then you still have to put it up. So everything basically works the same. Um, I'm gonna go outside and I'm gonna show you my 2013 Rubicon. Um, it's been in some other vid uh, videos like water leaks and things like that. Um, pretty easy to go ahead and take the top off uh, and enjoy, uh, that's what a Jeep's made for, take the doors and the tops off. Uh, it uh, does make it easier. Um, it's a one person operation. Just make sure your Jeep is centered in the proper location each time. Just wind it down, sits right on top. Second thing I'm including in this video is the shake proof mirrors uh shake proof is an over exaggeration they shake uh but i mean quality wise i got these off amazon for maybe 30 35 40 bucks um they work well um i did put some rubber uh a rubber gasket uh here or washer as well as at the bottom um then that way uh, it doesn't bother my hinge but uh, they actually work pretty well. Visibility is okay. The passenger side is not concaved. Uh, so therefore, you know, you get the actual view. But uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that uh, you take your top off. I hope that uh, um, you can uh, um, save a little bit of money, save a little bit of time, watch some other videos. Uh, it's plenty of them out there. That's where I got the idea. But uh, I got about an hour and a half uh, of work in this. The majority of it was cutting the boards, finding the studs. Other than that, it was gravy. Keep jeeping. Take your top off. Enjoy the summer. Take care.